everybody and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> if you can't tell, I look a little different than usual today. I am giving you all kinds of bright vibes. I wanted to use the craziest colors I could think of in the Crate Finds collection. So I went with this blue lippy and I went with the dark blue limited edition eyeshadow and threw in a little glitter that uh, I got from somewhere else. But if you like this glitter, I bet we could pull some strings and see some in the Crate Find store very soon. That would be cool, huh? But uh, I went ahead and played with this just to get y'all an interesting look because I thought y'all deserved it. I never have fun on this channel like this. So I thought it was time to give y'all something way out there. So I'm going to do a tutorial on how to get this glitter smoky like halo eye with some of the brightest colors I've ever used in my whole lifetime. So, <laughs> if you like this, go ahead and keep watching, and I will show you how to get this and give you the prices in case you don't remember them. And yeah, <laughs> that's going to be it for this intro. The only announcement I have is don't forget my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I think when you watch this, I will be over 800 subscribers. So we still got 200 to go, but we still have a long ways to go on Crate Finds end of this deal because I want to help them as much as I want to help me. Crazy, right? But I want to help them and they only have about 2,600 people in their group and we want to get that number up to 5,000. That is our goal. So be sure that you are joining my giveaway. The link will be down there. Only two qualifications is subscribe to me which you should be doing right now anyways, and hitting that bell, and to join the Crate Find Squad, which is where we share spoilers, we share new releases before the public gets to see them, we talk about everything from makeup to anxiety to what we're doing that day, doesn't really matter. It is an open group, it is an open forum, and it is full of very supportive, amazing women. So um, go ahead and get in on that, and get into that giveaway, because we got some Looking gorgeous things that come anyway. And yeah, it is time for your tutorial. Hey guys, okay, so the first step in this, again, we are ignoring these two colors. I'm gonna go into the Crate Finds Color Penelope. This is limited edition, so if you wanna get your hands on this color, get it. And I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M441. And I am just going to go straight in and put it in my outer and my inner corner. And I'm just going to buff it all in there to set up my inner and outer for my halo. Okay, so when you work with a blue shadow, the first thing you have to remember is to go in and start light handed. That way you don't let it explode. As you can see here, since I went in light handed, I have minimal fallout down here. And it's not quite as dark as I want it yet, but I can still build it up to my desired intensity, which I'm actually very close to now. And I'm going to go ahead and leave it like this because I can build more up after we add the halo bomb blending out. So let me do the other eye real quick. Okay, so what I'm going to do for my first step is I'm just going to take like the tiniest bit of this Catrice concealer and I'm not going to cut a crease because that is not at all what we're doing today. I'm just going to lay it down in the center to be sure I get what I want clean so that this glitter lays down nicely and to be sure that it is still visible when I have my nice hooded eyes open because that is a major issue if you have hooded eyes. You know what I'm talking about. You can't always see your makeup once your eyes are open. And we are just going to allow that to dry before I place my glitter glue. Okay, so now that that is mostly dry, I'm going to take this NYX glitter glue and I'm just going to take like one little dot of it on my finger and spread it over the same area where I just put that concealer. And 
since this gets tacky pretty fast, I am going to be working one eye at a time. So we are just going to go straight into this glitter. And this is just a, it's called a Miskos Cosmetics uh, palette. I got it off of Amazon. I'm sure you can type in the brand. Probably found it really easy. Not promising anything though. But I am going to take this bright yellow glitter right here on my finger and lay it down on top of that glitter glue. Check that out. That pigment is amazing. But we don't have time to dilly dally. It is time to move on to the other eye. So just the same thing. I'm going to do that off camera real quick and then I'll be right back. Okay, so once that glitter is applied, you have to go back in if you missed any spots just to blend it in and to get your pigment back on the outside of your halo just a little bit and that's just to even up any harsh lines, fix any of that stuff, which I do have a few, nothing crazy, but just enough that I do want to go back in and make sure that everything is blended the way that I want it. Okay, so to add to this look just a little, I want something nice to pop in my inner corner. Mm, but I don't know what I want. I think I'm just going to go ahead and take a highlight out of this and I'm just going to take strobe, which looks like this on my finger, and just put that in the inner corner right there just for a little pop of shimmer. And then I'm going to take a little bit on my brow bone right here. Okay, so the last thing I have to do with this look, like I always do, I'm just going to take what's left on here and sweep it on my lower lash line like always and that just smokes me out a little more so what I'm gonna do now is I hop off the camera real quick grab me some mascara and eyeliner and I'll be right back okay you guys so I grabbed some winged liner as always with my Crate Finds wing stamp and some lashes that I put on a little crooked, but I'm filming late and I tried twice and they're just crooked today. Sorry guys, but I uh, got that on and now it is time for our final step. So I'm going over the top because I'm trying very hard to get out of my comfort zone and we are going to use Soul Snatcher by Crepe Finds. And that is our, <clears throat> it's supposed to be baby blue, but <laughs> since I'm so pale, it's a teeny bit darker on me, but we are just going to use that to go with this blue look today because I know bold eyes, nude lips, don't care. Not today, guys. So here we go. That is one swap coverage. Completely opaque, y'all. <laughs> okay, so this is one of those looks. I'm just gonna go ahead and give you my final thoughts. This is one of those looks that for me, I can't wear it a whole lot in my everyday life. I don't do a whole lot besides talk to y'all and stay home and work in office. So <laughs> this is just one of those really fun looks for me. This is something I never get to do. It's the middle of the night. I want to film. I wanted something fun to show off a little bit of this Queen AF makeup. And I promised y'all some tutorials. So here is your first one. This is just a glitter halo eye. Got a blue and yellow vibe going with a baby blue lip. 
And this Soul Snatcher will snatch your soul, y'all. This is no lie. It is absolutely gorgeous. But that is it for today's look. If you have any questions, remember that this palette is $3.99. The shadows are $4.99 and I believe Penelope itself is either $5 or $6.99 because it is limited edition. <clears throat> and this lippy is $7.99. So $8 for this kind of coverage. And you can get normal colors. I ain't no rule against that. But uh, $8 if you use my code here. Plug. Even less than that. <clears throat> and you can get 10% off. So uh, that is it for this tutorial. Here's your final look. And I hope y'all enjoyed. If you want some more fun tutorials like this, just let me know down in the comments. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.